Lots of you have been asking me what to do in an interview for Oxford or Cambridge if they ask you a question where you already know the answer to. I'm going to be telling you exactly what to do in this video. The thing you don't want to do is pretend you've never seen the problem before and try and come up with some fake narrative and try and come across as really smart like you've had some epiphany idea. They'll be able to detect it but also likelihood is the problem that they've asked you might actually be an easy problem and if they see you trying to struggle, if they see you struggling with it they might kind of second guess your ability. So if it is a problem that you've seen before it could be just the case that that's like the start problem and then there'll be more additional problems after that and that's just to get you warmed up. So, if it is the case that you've seen a problem before, what should you say? What you shouldn't also say is, oh, I've seen this before, the answer is this. Because, A, if you do that and you get it wrong, you come across super arrogant and you're kind of putting all your eggs in one basket there by saying, oh yeah, I've seen this before. The best response is kind of being open and going, okay, cool. I think I've seen something similar to this before. And if I remember correctly, the trick was to do X, Y, Z. So, that way... You're not saying, okay, this is how it's solved and 100% this is the way to solve it because if, let's say, for whatever reason, you can't quite remember exactly what the technique or the trick is, at least if you're kind of open about it and say, oh, I think this is the way to do it, then that way you're still leaving kind of, you know, the doors open in, in, in that sense. So let's say they give you a problem and you have seen it before and you're 85% certain that the answer or, or the trick to solving it is to, you know, draw a graph and do something with a graph, you could say something along the lines of, ah, okay, I think I've seen something similar to this before. If I remember correctly, the trick there was to sketch a graph. So that wasn't my first thoughts are here, to sketch a graph. So I'll do that first. And one of two things could happen. Either they'll say, yep, that's the correct thing to do, and then just move on. Or they'll say, or they'll just kind of let you go, go ahead and try and solve it that way. But yeah, that's exactly what you should do if they ask you a question that you've seen before. Do not pretend as if you've never seen it before and make a fool out of yourself equally don't just say oh you know the answer is this because then if for whatever reason you've got it wrong or maybe you've misunderstood the problem comes across super arrogant best thing to do is just sit, kind of be honest say oh i think i've seen something similar to similar to this before here if i remember correctly this is what we did then so that's my first thoughts when attacking this problem because a as I say, it leaves the doors open, but B, that's exactly what mathematicians do. When they see a problem that they've seen something similar to before, they think about the techniques they use for that problem and see if they apply here. And it'll put you in a really, really good light for the interview. I hope that helps. My name's Jamin, by the way, if you are new to, 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 my, to this channel. I studied maths at the University of Oxford. And if you found this video useful and found my advice useful, I definitely te recommend checking out some of my other videos. I'll leave a video on screen where I give you my advice for interviews and what you should be doing in the run-up to the interviews to ensure you smash them.